Well, howdy again, guys. Welcome back. Here we are at another episode, finally. Um, sorry about not getting one out these last few days. I just had to help somebody move over the weekend. And um, I, I, well, actually, I'll, so long, long version of the story. So uh, I did help someone move, and um, I decided to jump back into um, the time lapse to kind of finally just see what that looked like and how it had survived. And it did not, and so my heart was a little bit broken. And so I, I basically started another um, time lapse city. And just put like two solid full days, like almost all nighters, just into that. And um, I hadn't set the automatic updates on like, for the Windows thing to like not, you know, go on their own. And I went upstairs to uh, make some food, and I came back downstairs like 20 minutes later, type thing. And my computer had done one of those like auto updates because I didn't stop it when the pop up came. And uh, it did like an auto save thing. And whatever it did, it ruined the um, camera save positions. So I was just like so discouraged. And so I just kind of, I just didn't, I don't know. I just didn't really feel like playing for the next day or two. I was so upset. But um, I'm over it. So uh, I want to start another time lapse. Oh my goodness. This is like <laughs> attempt number three now. So um, yeah, it's unfortunate. Like I, I kind of shifted gears. I went towards like a desert kind of, um, kind of like, you know, like American, kinda, almost like Dallas. Like Dallas meets a bit of a smaller town. A very desert, big town America meets small town kind of feel, if that makes any sense to you. So they had a downtown core, but like, I was going for like a cool outskirts too. Anyway, back to this city. So uh, thanks for the comments, guys. Uh, Kevin pointed out that we were actually having a little bit of issues here with the uh, power. And um, kind of going to what Matt uh, was saying in a comment as well. What I did was um, I got rid of all the extra turbines, because Matt was saying that these were getting a little bit of an eyesore. I do kind of agree. I really, I'm, I'm not the biggest fan of them, they're just, they're really efficient, I guess is a, is a good way to put it. So I made a few small pockets, there's now these three by three right there, got rid of the ones here, got rid of the ones here, cleaned up the extra power lines, and so now the island area here, it's powered by, um, by these three guys. And if it gets to the point where we need more, we can just make a connection to the mainland from here, that way we want to run power lines, um, like, you know, in too many places. And, um, Actually, I got a cool name for this area here, so let me type that in right now. So this is coming from 0 0.1, and I liked uh, this one, so Lobster Haven. A little bit of fishing over there, right? So, kind of like that. Better than uh, what I had thought of, right? I think I might keep Emerson Square for the moment, though. Okay. So what I wanted to do for this episode was just add a little bit more over here. Um, we'll kind of fix a few of the problems. And then I had a suggestion come in from uh, You Bad Dean, he's always got some cool ones, to put um, like a castle or something, some kind of tourist trap, as he put it, uh, just in the center right here. And I think that that's actually a really cool idea. So my idea for that would be to possibly tunnel and come up in the middle here and then maybe connect over here. That way we don't have to connect to the roundabout. I might maybe do a road going straight through, like a one way or something. I need a plopping point for the uh, for the castle. I'll kind of show you the one I have in mind. I wanted to use this one here, and unfortunately, it won't fit on any points of the roundabout. So we need we need a road road. But this should look really cool, I think, right here. It's kind of centered or something like that. And it'll also bring the um, land value up in the area too, which is a bonus. Okay, so uh, oh, actually, you know what? Before I jump into the building, there's another thing I noticed too, just as I was loading the game. We are going to have to change this area, because unfortunately, this being so short, um, it's creating a traffic light like that. Actually, I wonder if we can maybe even just go like this, and even that'll be a partial fix. What I think has to happen is we need to connect this to the um, roundabout a little bit more efficiently, or we just need to kind of change this little quadrant a little bit. Instead of having the break here, we can just maybe have this going on its own. Maybe change that a little bit. Because unfortunately, we're starting to bottleneck traffic. But let's worry about that in a second. Let's finish over here at the island first. And then the other curveball idea that I was just thinking of, and I was uh, against it in the beginning, was to these bus lanes, was to take a six lane road from, say, here. Because that's, you know, right off the highway, it's convenient. And then if we straight line over to here, and then just change that so that 
maybe it can curve inward. Or maybe if we just make this go straight. Hmm. I like that. And let's put our commercial back in here. And let's avoid that last row just so we can keep those trees. Okay, that's nice. And maybe there's a little building right there. Perfect. And you know what? Before we do the center ring, let's just do that last little road I had kind of in mind back here. So let's go out like this, over like that. Same idea over here, if that'll cooperate. Oh, perfect. And we'll just zone as much of this as we can. And I might even go like that, just for a little bit more zoning. And then these guys will have a lower density. Okay. And this should hopefully come out as a nice mix of buildings here. And... You know what, let's go like this. There. And how are we for pipes? Uh, yeah, almost. Perfect, we are going places. Hey, cool, cruise ship. I like that idea, I'm glad we put that here. Okay. Let us make our first of the undergrounds here. Or... Hmm. I'm trying to think, maybe... I don't know if this is going to look bad or not. No, because I want to have the... I was thinking what we could possibly do was um, make a bridge up and over, but I do want this as a connection point, so forget I said that. Let me just find somewhere to make a tunnel. I feel like this might be a little bit too... I don't think we're going to get enough room here. Yeah, no, it's not going to work from there. I need just one extra space, it would seem. Alright, so what's stopping us from going underneath here? And then, where would we come out, though? Come out behind the mall? Okay, so let's try that. This might look a little bit bizarre, especially with the subway being right there too, but... Okay, so we'll keep in mind the subway. Hopefully these two are not going to be in each other's way when this is all said and done. And, you know, I actually want to make this part first. And then, just so that it's straight, <clears throat> what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw this first. And then I'm going to go like this. But I want this to be... So 10 units in. And then also 10 units in. I moved over one there. Okay, so that's my 10 point... And then this will go right here. I hope that's somewhat centered. That feels centered to me. Hey, cool. Oh, it's uh, slightly, slightly off. Er, what is off, I wonder? Oh, these guys are, well, interesting. Well, either way, I'm still gonna move this one over. That's like my favorite word to say, interesting, right? Um, now, why won't that... There we go. Okay, let me try that in two steps. Did I put that right in the exact same spot? Probably, right? 
What if I get rid of some of this road? Kind of hide the fact that it's not quite symmetrical over here. Okay, so that goes like that. And now this goes underground. And, oh, you know what, though? That's going to look a little bit silly from above ground. No, actually, it doesn't look silly. <clears throat> I will I will keep that. That is a little bit what I'm kind of going for here. Okay, now, let's just pop over this way. It's the same idea. We're going to have to be avoiding the subway. So let's just go like this. And, oh, we could connect to a tunnel. Let's just do that. What a novel idea. Oh, I like that, actually. All right, so that will stay like this. We can definitely put some pedestrian walking paths and some parking lots, probably. So let's do pedestrian walking paths. Let's just kind of circle the grounds here. symmetrical and we'll just connect these and then what we'll do is some bridges from the outside coming in okay so let's kind of go for a little bit of symmetry again so maybe we can go from say the end point here I think we're gonna have a few ways in oh is this not tall enough probably not Probably have to go to at least a nine, I think, there. Okay, so nine. Perfect. That's even better. Okay, so let's again try to make this symmetrical. Nine goes over. Cool. I like that. All right, so let's put in some parking lots. There's a couple over there. Now they're lined up with the castle, but they're not unfortunately in line with this road. And I don't know if that's really going to bug me or not. I mean, the simple fix, I guess, would be to try and shift the road over by one tile. Um, I don't want to mess up the roundabout. Let's just, let's just keep it as it is. I don't want to play with fate here. Because once we have a whole bunch of trees and stuff, I don't really think people will really... I don't think I'll really notice it, you know? Okay, so just some commercial shopping in here as well because again going for that tourist trap kind of feel and so we've got a way in from the outer ring got a way in from the inner ring so you can just cross the street walk over here i feel like that we should have maybe some more entrances coming in we can always do some pedestrian tunnels i don't know if that's enough room. Oh, why don't we go like that? Start up like this. Mm, there's got to be a way. Alright, so now we can curve this over like that. And let's come like this. Well, that's pretty neat. And we could do the same thing over here, just for some symmetry, because we like that. And switch 
switch that over. Not quite symmetrical though, unfortunately. We can kind of hide that though, if I go like this. Yeah, not quite. But again, not the worst. So it does give us a couple more ways in, which is really what I'm going for. And then, I feel like there should be a way up like this as well. And that one can be on an angle, and it can probably come down this way as well. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Shape is a little bit awkward right there, but maybe we can fix that by adding one more little. Mm, the back one. Yeah, it's a little bit cleaner. Let's just go like that. And let's do something like that over here as well. And we'll see how that one looks. That's a little bit cleaner, so let's just keep that. Alright, so now we've got multiple ways in. We don't have any way in from the back, though. I don't want this to start becoming an overkill with pedestrian bridges, though. So we'll kind of let people come in just through the, uh, the roundabout. And let's just drop in some trees. We can try and go for something... Let's try something kind of nice here. Give ourselves a little bit of a visual... You know, something to curb the visual appeal. Or what am I looking for here? Not curb the visual appeal. We want to increase the visual appeal. The opposite of the curb. We want to turn it up. Okay. So let's line our path over here with these. suit and go with the outside of this one as well. That's not so bad. And it does look like we already have some buildings popping up over here, so that's really good news as well. And I do feel like we should put something else touristy kind of feeling in here. Let's go through our custom assets. Or actually, let's go through the um, unique buildings. We can find something else in here. Um, oh, that's actually nice. They'll make it. We actually we need somewhere for City Hall. I think a monastery or a church might be a little bit out of place over here. Um, we could do. Oh, cool! What is? Oh, this big, big, big tower building. That's right. No, it doesn't really. It doesn't really suit there. Maybe over here though, but no, let's not get carried away. I don't really want that right now. These guys. Oh, these. Oh, this is something that we should be putting over here. Now I wonder if there's a spot suitable for this already. What is over here that's occupying our space? Which one of these is... Are any of these custom? No, then why can't I place that, I wonder? Ah, the road, of course. Um... Okay, well, let's try something. Let's do... 
of that right here. Something a little bit more touristy for the area. Maybe we need to do some zoning. Just fix that part. And <clears throat> I imagine we'll need at least one parking lot just for the visual sake. And something I totally forgot to put over in this um, island area as well. I think it was Chad who uh, brought this up was uh, taxi stands. Totally forgot those. So let's put a depot close by because we're always it's good to have. And I mean, ideally we would do one on the ground right here, but there's unfortunately no snap point on that side. Well, we'll put one there nonetheless because maybe you could call for it hypothetically. And we'll put one near the, um, for sure near the hotel. Maybe put a couple over there. And then we can always put one also right at the bus stop. Yeah, that should work for me. And maybe one up here near the metro. Where's a good spot for this one? just right there. They're excellent. So that's a good little uh, addition to the island right there, that little touristy part right there. Oh, I wish this had its own lighting. Well, it kind of does, but you know what I mean. Not too shabby. I do indeed like that. Alright, so we do need a little bit more trees. Not too many, though. I don't want to make this an episode just dedicated to planting trees again. It does seem to be like every other episode. Um, so let's just fill in trees on this side and we'll keep this a little bit more kind of open like that. Let's do a quick base of these guys. And we'll just drop some of these characters in. Perfect. Okay, now let's check on traffic now that we have let that bridge kind of run for a little bit. It's kind of nice just kind of leaving this as it is. Yeah, I like that. So we'll, we'll probably think of some more stuff to add to it, but we'll move on over to traffic now. So this area, I mean, super cleaned up. Even making this a little bit longer probably helped a little bit, so let's a few more people queue in behind uh, the lights here. But I think the bulk of the traffic coming into the island, oh my goodness, no, 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 this is not, that is not ideal at all. And we've got to line up the whole, oh my goodness, no, thank you. Okay, so I guess in terms of options here, so we'll get rid of the bridge. We should just improve on the other area, realistically. So we'll keep this just the way it is. No sense kind of putting that back to the way it was before. Okay, so we'll zone over here, though. Keep the police station right there. What's their zoning in here? Need to fix that part. Okay, so back over to here um, okay so I'm just gonna pause so I'll keep the flags like that this will just move super temporarily same with the hospital just there for like two seconds You know what, actually, let's make this a six lane. That'll help too.
Alright. So that's now six lane without traffic lights going straight into there. Let's put the speed back up. We just need to figure this connection out. And this, I already have an idea. Okay, so let's go straight like this. And we'll go down like that. Oh, perfect. Let's start over at this end. Oh, the parking lot. Of course it's in the way. I thought my plan here was perfect. Um, okay, so instead of moving both parking lots, maybe we can curve. Yep, yep, yep. drop-off is a little bit too much for my liking. But we're almost there. Very close. Okay, so let's go like this. Bring this out like that. A little bit gentler, still somewhat on the steep side. But the main thing is we've definitely cleared up a whole bunch of breathing room for this area. And let's move these guys back. So this can possibly stay over here now, just for the sake of room. And the hospital can just go on the inside part right there. That way they can take advantage of the roundabouts. Now, we unfortunately have backup over here. Does this spot maybe need a roundabout too? Now, why aren't these guys even turning right on a red, I wonder? Um, I'm just curious to see what would happen if we make this into a highway. Because I think that will null the... Um, traffic light on that side. Okay, so let's try this. Oh wait, I didn't want to just do that, silly. Um, no, this is falling apart. Stop what you're doing. Get out of here. Go back to six lane roads. I think a roundabout is probably a better, better solution. Okay, so let's move this guy once more. Sorry about that. Let's pause this. Back this up by one. Get rid of this. Get rid of that. And move this back over. Let's draw a roundabout right off of this guy. Okay, let's go four units. Right, my power box. Perfect. Great, and so we'll upgrade this now to a highway because that's kind of what I was going for. Um, right, it's just a regular highway. Oopsies, I did not mean to do that. Okay, so that is like this. This guy now reconnects like that. We've now made an oval shape. But I don't really want to fix that. That's okay. It's going to be a little bit too time consuming. And let's get our six lane. Okay, so let's back that up a little bit further. Nothing is ever easy, is it? So that goes like this. There. And 
We'll just fix the top part of our little oval here, but we'll just kind of draw this freehand. There. Look at that. Many, many, many changes have been done right here. So let's now reconnect this. Fix the power situation for the islands. And we're going to need our little power box back. Or at the very least a park or just something over here so the power can still spread. I think maybe a park just for the sake of land value. No, forget the park. Let's just put a, um, where are we? I don't even remember where that thing is, unfortunately. Maybe we'll come across it. Maybe not. Who knows? Actually, we could put a gas station over here just to kind of, as a filler. Okay, well, let's move this back. Let's see. Do we lose the power? We do. Just pause really quickly. And, I mean, ideally I don't want to do the... Oh, there's the power box. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. There, needs a power box. has no power. Okay, so I hope we've now fixed our traffic problems. And we might just be ready to start doing our bus lines. Back parts filled out. Looking good over here. It's cool how the... Uh, all these uh, yachts and uh, cruise ships and cargo vessels, and do they fit perfectly underneath here, or is this kind of... Do we have to raise the bridge height? Oh, look at that, just barely. Whew. That may have clipped a little bit. The other solution would be just to raise this by one click upwards. So let's sneak another peek at this. Yeah, no, I guess it does go under. Yeah, I think we're okay. Cool beans. All right, now, the other suggestion I wanted to start with, just I'm probably not going to be able to finish this, just kind of given the, uh, keeping an eye on time here, is this comes in from a bunch of penguins, and uh, we, we're basically, like, in terms of the metro, um, we have a way in. You can kind of see, like, over here. We've just got the one kind of tunnel. Um, but Bunch of Penguins was suggesting some direct routes, and in order to achieve that, we'd have to do some, um, kind of like little breakaway points, not breakaway points, um, what's the word I'm looking for here? Kind of like, not overpasses, but bypasses, that's the word I'm looking for. So that the trains, if they're not going to hit that uh, particular subway station, they can just kind of go around. Like, for example, let me show you right over here, so we can just draw this in rather quickly. So we could do is just go like this. And just connect like that. Oops, my goodness, my computer thinking about this. And then that way trains coming in could go around the um, airport if they're going straight to the islands. So let me show you what I mean by that. So we'll create our routes. Actually, no, let's do a couple more bypasses. I wanted to have this one coming straight from the... Um, mm, that's, a lot of, that's a lot of stations to bypass, though. Okay, so you know what? Maybe a bypass isn't the right answer. Just because of how much we'd have to, to do. Because we basically have to go, like, you know, up and over all these other subway tunnels. So maybe, yeah, maybe we shouldn't do that. Although, ideally, I just wish it was something as simple as just kind of going like a hoom ba doom like that around, right? But I don't know if we'd have the space everywhere I want to, especially with these kind of bends, to get traffic moving the way I want it to. Well, we'll still do some direct lines. We'll kind of see. So maybe I can draw this back in after. Let's at least draw a couple lines out here and get the airport going. But hopefully that'll help a bit with the traffic, too. OK. 
Okay, so this one will come from our transportation hub. And apparently, I think this, oh gosh, was this Zach who was saying this? I didn't write this one down. Um, when you're putting a new line in at, um, oh right, I'm not at the train station, that's why. When you're putting a new line in, you get it to uh, pick what side you want by kind of hovering the create line in the right way, apparently. I'm not 100% on how that really works. So let's just try... I mean, I, really, I do want to do an express, I won't lie, I just don't really think it's going to work. Because you're going to kind of... Let's see what an express would look like, what route it would pick. Oh, did that not even... Are these guys not... Con Wait, how are they not connected? I don't believe that. I don't believe that for a second. I see that they're connected. There's no way. Okay, so... Um, okay, so let's rewind this whole thing here. Unless I've just made a big error. No, okay, we're off this... Did I just make one little line here? I really hope not. No, I, I have no idea. I, I don't think I did. Okay, so let's try this again, but let's instead go from the island over. Oh, goodness. Sorry, guys. Okay, so starting the line here. Let's go over here. Ah, uh, here's the issue. These guys aren't speaking. Oh, that's why. Sneaky, sneaky. Okay, so let's delete this line, start that again. I'm glad I got figured out though. Okay, so, I mean, I'll, I'll just do this the regular way, and then I'll still do an express line, just to see if that might... But I think the solution for that would be those kind of, like, bypass lines. Or bypass lanes, whatever you want to call them. I will try for something like that, but I might do that possibly off-camera. Just so it doesn't eat up too much time. Okay, so we'll just bring this line back. And with this guy touching so many different routes, we now, like, you can get to the airport basically from, like, any part of the city, more or less. And just connect that back up. Perfect. And then so, let's just create a new line. And then this one will go just straight to here. Hopefully somehow that would just, you know, go around the people it needs to. But I might possibly, like I said, add a, um, some bypass stuff in on my own. Okay, so let's just make that a blue line. And we'll make this one. Oops. Um, aha, there you are. Nope, I thought I could get it from there. Um, I think it took a, there, a shortcut this way. Or is that just a difference? Oh, fiddlesticks. Not the one I wanted. Oh, there, this is it right here. Yeah, we did it, okay. In purple. Perfect. Love it. Okay, now let's investigate. So it's definitely moving a lot smoother. Let's look at this just kind of in this view. 
yeah, big time difference, the double roundabouts. I think that's for sure the way to go. And this doesn't really bother me. I did kind of want that to go straight, but totally fine with this. It's actually a pretty cool area. It's shaping out quite nicely. And what I think we'll do for sure is move these guys, because I, I want the pollution just kind of out of this harbor. In fact, let's do that right now, and let's say that'll be the last thing we'll do this episode, and then uh, we'll call it a day. Perfect. So we'll just pause this, and let's just move these over one at a time. And what we could do, maybe even like way down the road, is eventually switch these over to these guys so they don't pollute. And then that way the water can just kind of stay nice and clean. So you know what, how are we doing on yeah, sewage? We, I mean, you know, here we'll do is we'll get rid of one of these just for the sake of space. And just drop in a couple more of these guys. Let's just kind of close this off a little bit. And let's make this look a little bit decorative here. Okay, so we'll connect. It's a shame it's like almost right on it. those guys like that. Wire those guys over like such. Just put in some buildings in and around and you know what actually is not make them over here. Um, hmm, I don't know. We'll keep that spot open. And instead we'll just move that over just like that. There we go. And we'll now connect these guys. Perfect. And we'll just turn on the speed again. And unfortunately we are still polluting, but now we'll see a very noticeable change to the uh, pollution in this area. I don't mind that it's a little bit off camera, kind of off here, right? That's our, you know, most of our prisoners here, they don't, we don't care for them anyhow, so. But, uh, no, even even still, this area does look kind of cool. More of a utility kind of thing. And we can always put, like, a, a power plant or something over here, too. I think Matt suggested that as well. I would be uh, opposed to that, just in case we need. But I think just in general, we're doing pretty good on power because of the uh, the dam. But no, I think, uh, I think we'll call it a day here, guys. So uh, thanks for coming back. Thanks for sticking with it. Appreciate the uh, comments and uh, support as always. I'm definitely liking the, uh, the improvements here. Nice to see this area finally coming together, you know? And I'm very happy that we managed to tackle this, especially early on. That was, that was almost bad. All right, guys. Well, uh, I will catch you in the next one. This was episode 57. I will see you in episode 58. Keep the, the suggestions coming. And... For next episode, I think we're going to have to do some general improvements, possibly um, some fixed wrappers around town. We'll kind of see. For sure, some bus routes and uh, maybe touch again on the metro lines, kind of see how things are. Because, you know, there is traffic here getting out of little control, so we can kind of get people off the uh, cars and into a different form of transport. That'll kind of help, right? So we'll explore some options, and, uh, yeah, I'll see you then. All right, guys, take care. Have a good night.